Hello everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Ikeda, and today I'll be sharing with you the technique of uh, toric ICL: how to load this lens and how to implant it inside the eye. So the first thing we are doing here inside the cartridge is uh, putting a little bit of BSS as well as viscoelastic. A combination of both helps. And then we are using this sponge which is provided along with the ICL to gently lift up this lens as we know that this is made of collamer material and it's a very delicate lens. So we do not use forceps but we just use this sponge tip applicator. And then we are just placing the lens inside making sure that the correct orientation is uh, maintained. And then we are using the special ICL pull through forceps and the trick here is to move the other hand back instead of pulling the lens with the forceps. And once this is loaded, uh, we place it inside the injector and rotate it till the time we hear a click and then just check advance the sponge tip applicator. And now the next step is implantation inside the patient's eye. So this is the rotation chart. We are planning the left eye of the patient and we can see we have to rotate the lens 8 degree clockwise. So then I would go ahead and mark. So we have already pre-marked the patient on the sit lamp and now I'm just marking the 8 degree orientation marks. I first like to use the chopper and then uh, use the marking pen. Uh, one side port is created and we inject a little bit of uh, lignocaine along with adrenaline to anesthetize the eye from inside and then we place uh, some viscoelastic. Uh, avoid overfilling the eye just enough so that the chains of the viscoelastic are visible and then we make another side port and then a main port incision. We need at least 3 to 3.2 millimeter incision to insert this uh, ICL comfortably. And then again, we inject a little bit of viscoelastic again to avoid overfilling at this point. Now this preloaded lens is being injected slowly, gradually. Uh, we have to make sure that um, the plate haptic has the holes and that is on the right side. So that is the correct orientation to ensure a good vault and we may need to make sure that the lens is not flipped upside down. So inject slowly and keep observing how the lens is opening up inside the eye. And then we use uh, these, uh, uh, you know, iris tucker instrument to tuck this uh, ICL haptics gently under the iris. All the four haptics must be tucked under the iris. We have to ensure that no haptic is out and then we just gently rotate the lens to ensure that we have the correct orientation and it's well aligned with the marks that we have previously created. We avoid touching the optic of the ICL at all points of time. And then we are just using a Simcoe's to wash off all of this viscoelastic at the end of the surgery. Ensure a thorough wash, just keep it near the central hole and then wash off. We inject pilocarpin and then hydrate the wounds and this is the end of the surgery. Thank you so much for watching.